Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Factoria Break the Game. Uh, let's get cracking with another episode. Today what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of a project that I want to achieve and that's to actually improve the size of my rail shed. So let's, uh, oh yeah, we'll let that go past because that's um, a little bit big to argue with. Because I put this in, in the, or oh, a couple of episodes ago and yep, all good. Now we want to though, first things first, we want to make sure that we actually have some uh, train track on us being requested in. Now with the shed, what I'd like to do is have space for, I don't know, quite a few trains. And basically this is going to be our return line, such as it is. Now the, I need you to stop. I'm going to pick up train storage. Now then. Here we go. So what we're going to do is go something like this. And I'm making this up on the fly. So, uh, yeah. Could be, could be good. have a look at my, um, what's its face down here? Aha. Uh because -huh. really this, this is a similar thing that I want to do. Really it's quite, uh, quite similar except it's only going to have uh, one entrance and one exit. So, uh, there is that. Let's try something like this. Okay. just trim up this line a little bit so that's one two there now these can be one space apart but I'm gonna run with two uh, just so that I've got a little bit extra room to uh, to do things in one two that's one two one two one two Something like that. Now I need a ruler, is what I need. He'll do. Perfect. Now, I also need one of these rubber pots so that I can cover the entire area. Okay, you there. And we'll uh, power these up in a sec. Perfect. Now, back to our ruler. Uh -huh. We have trees everywhere. We'll fix that. Oh, there's a rock. Kill the rock. We must eliminate the true enemy. Now. Here's the question, right? What am I doing with this line here? I don't... Can I... Well, that would actually work. Ruler, we're full out there. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we don't have the rail for this. Is that a legit thing or what? Because last time I looked, we had like several K. We got we have 1.5 K curvy rail and 787 straight rail. Okay. It's just that my bots were Yep, being a bit lazy. And you can see they're straggling across the map. Come here. You little buggers. Okay. Off we go. I won't beat that train. <laughs> I don't want to argue with that. Now, ruler. Oh no. We'll eliminate that. I want I want a bigger ruler. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh. <laughs> I feel like uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor and Jeremy Clarkson all rolled into one. <laughs> Needs more power. Needs to be bigger. Anyway. Obviously this siding is uh, decreasing in length as we go up. However, we can uh, think about doing something about that very shortly. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do you want to? Mm, I'm not sure that we want to. Oh, that's what else we need to do. We need to concrete it. Yeah. This will keep me busy. So what I'm thinking is I come all the way out here somewhere. So apologies for all the purple lines everywhere, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to come all the way out to, say, here. Perfect. That's awesome. It's maze balls. Where are you? There we go. Done. Now we need to throw a rubber port in so that we can actually uh, cover it. There we go, somewhere there. And that'll cover it. Wonderful. Happy old days. Oh. oh, I can't deconstruct that. Why not? It must, end. It must be gone. It must be dealt with. Partially. Because rocks really are the true enemy. I forget the amount of times that I've been out exploring or whatever. A rock has ruined my day. Okay. We just need to alleviate this one. Oh, yeah. So, it's very dark right now. Let's shed some light on the matter. Now, potentially, after we're done here, I can take down these robo ports and just leave it as is. But we're not going to need it a long term. I'll just uh, shift... I'll just force place these over the top of the railway ports, or the railway lines, should I say. Oh, there's no... Uh, hmm. Okay. So we're waiting. We'll continue waiting then. Oh, obviously, because this is a long way for the robots to travel, we have... <laughs> it's going to take a little while. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Now, because of the state of the save and, and where we're at in it, I'm going to start to... This could be deconstructed, actually, because we don't need this all the way out here. We just need it kind of down the edge. Oh, whoops! Don't, 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 oh, I wasn't quick enough. Damn it. I just lost... Uh, Bit of oil. Will will not be happy. Damn bots. Yep, that's a fair bit of oil I just lost. Damn it. Oh well. Nothing for it but to move on. Okay, so that's that. Just step this down here. Deconstruct this, deconstruct that, deconstruct that, and this. Okay. So we're looking pretty good right now. Things are increasing. Mm -hmm. 
This was forgotten by the looks of it. Deconstruct. That can be de deconstructed as well. I'm not even going to attempt to get to that. And stay where it is. Okay. How are we going? Slowly. We need, we need more construction bots is what we need. My construction bots have gone this way for some absurd reason. Why are you going this way? Odd. Odd little machines, you. Let's just go see if we can uh, increase our construction bot supply. Because I reckon we've got bots just sitting in boxes at the moment. So I think that maybe rounding that number up to say, I don't know, three or four thousand bots for each might be a good idea. Oh, actually, and that's uh, something else that I'll do right now. So I'm going to set this uh, to 5k because we need lots of concrete. And we're going to need lots of concrete moving into the building the bigger base as well. So, yeah, forward thinking. Sure, I'll take you as well. So there's less than 50 in the network, or there's greater than 50 in the network, so... Just see if I can find them. Because... I'd ideally like to take them out of the network. Okay, there we go. Construction bots away. Actually, I'll keep those 12. Because I need them. I wish there was a way of tidying the t counting the total number. That would be really good. Anyway, we're up to 2,000 bots right now. Or construction bots, that is. And these are going to keep working. Yes. Yes. Yep. They're all working nicely by the looks of it. Good. Let's head back up to our rail yard that we're working on. Oh, I'll actually check the... Oh, wow. Not enough stone, Sunny Jim. Oh, I just... Oh. I'm making lots of silly mistakes tonight. Um, what do I need to do? I need to blueprint concrete again. I'll come out here. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Check that out. 3,000... <laughs> 3,000 concrete worth square. <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Uh, come on, do we have the bricks? Do we have the stone now? Yeah, it looks like we've doubled the throughput and we're okay. Now. Yep, happy with that. Now, let's head back up to our rail yard. Now, a bit of an announcement, uh, because of where the Break the Game Save is at, I've got lots of large projects on the list, um, and they're all kind of, well, they're, they're, they're just going to take a lot of time, and they're not going to be really great for uh, YouTube, because YouTube is, is better being, you know, small content that is e easily digestible. Uh, yep, we'll do that. Now I can just stamp it again and refresh the timer and everything. Guys. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is that I will start to do lots of these projects on Twitch. So I'll put my Twitch link in the description of this video. So make sure that you follow me because I will be doing lots of the you know bigger projects on Twitch, ready for pre like preparing them, ready for YouTube. So I'll, you know, for example, I want to finish up the rail 
the concept rail up here see if I can get this tidied up because for example I want to bring this rail over and do a few bits and pieces up here get rid of this works north for example so that we have kind of this entire area so that's going to be one thing for example I want to robo port it and get rid of all the trees everywhere I want to concrete it all you know all this stuff that I want to do and it's all large-scale project based stuff oh, I also want to push back the biters in this area push them back a little bit here and also push them back up here a little bit more try and get a little bit more breathing room for my factory I might even come out here a bit more and see if I can knock them back so lots of fighting lots of deforestation lots of just running around and generally having to uh, put a lot of hours into the factory where are we at? 2076 yeah put a lot of hours into the factory to to get the result that I'm after and that is going to be the reality of it until uh, until I can get everything in place that I want so if you want to watch some of that uh, prep work it's going to be pretty pretty dull lots of it it's just going to be me running around you know chopping down lots of trees and not really doing much fun stuff because I'll keep the fun stuff for the uh, YouTube episodes so this series from here on in you won't see everything and the save may jump 20 hours <laughs> you know that's just how it is because I'm, I'm trying to keep this to the key points in the evolution of this factory and you know for example the evolution of this train yard you know I'm showing that today and also the evolution of the uh, for example the electric smelting, smelting you know that's something else that I covered because I knew that those things were you know good to cover however you know when I went around and actually cleared all of this space um, of biters I ran around it and pushed them back quite a lot you know there was biters in here I pushed them all back you know the, the I, that took like eight hours or something and I didn't cover it because it was just it wouldn't be interesting you know you, you don't want to see well what's what's eight hours divided by eight times sixty divided by 20 that's 24 episodes of me running around killing biters that's that's crap you don't want to be at episode 100 and have got nowhere in the factory so that's what's going to be happening be sure to follow me on twitch if you'd like to know more uh, and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it I, I'm actually genuinely excited about some of the, um, the things I want to do and basically I, I just needed to tell you all what was happening so that you can watch if you want uh, you can still view the content, you can still, you know, Twitch is kind of cool, you can come and hang out with me. Uh, there's normally a pretty good crowd. Uh, we hang out, I'll do lots of boring stuff and we'll joke around and generally be clowns. I think that I might end on that note. So, thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to, oh, uh-huh, we see an issue. Because what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll finish this in the next episode. I'm thinking. You notice that with this you just need to separate out the train tracks so that you can run that station and then you know replace the station, replace the track. It's a little bit of uh, grudge work, but such is the life when you're trying to do something on the scale like this. So, I'll keep working away here. Uh, when you see me next time, I'll have a working train yard and it'll be very, very exciting. So I look forward to seeing you then.